Hi everybody, Dr. Perlmutter here. Dr. David Perlmutter, obviously you're going to be hearing much more from Dr. Austin Perlmutter soon. And having said that, uh, our new book is called Brainwash, and Brainwash focuses to some degree the, on the importance of the choices that we make, not necessarily their importance, but what influences our decision making. Are we impulsive, making wrong decisions? Or do we connect to the part of the brain that allows our decision making to be more forward thinking, more thoughtful, more in a touch with, for example, future consequences of those decisions? One of the areas we talk about has to do with uh, the importance of sleep in allowing us to connect to that part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, that then allows us to make good decisions and how, when we don't sleep well, when we are sleep deprived, or our sleep is not restorative, our decisions are more impulsive, and as it relates to food, we may not necessarily make great food choices. So let's look at some science. Called sleep deprivation selectively upregulates or increases uh, activity of the amygdala that's involved in food reward. Uh, this is an interesting study in which they took, uh, they, they really wanted to ask and, and try to answer the question, how does being deprived of sleep influence our choices? And in this case, whether we choose uh, things like to buy things versus to eat things, uh, as it were. They took 32 male, healthy male subjects, age 19 to 33 years, and they either got to sleep all night long or they kept them up all night. And they then confronted these uh, participants with a simple choice. Uh, what would you buy at a given price, the same price, um, you're going to buy a snack food or you're going to buy a non-food item. In this case, it is a hat. At the same time, they're going to look at the amygdala, the impulsivity center of the brain, which is the subject of the uh, study. And you see it here in the green arrow. That's uh, in this what's called a coronal view of the MRI scan living in the temporal lobe. And they found some things that were actually really interesting. First, when looking at whether or not they bought at the given price the non-food item, which was a hat or whatever it was, people who had a normal night's sleep were more likely to buy the non-food item in comparison to the people who were sleep deprived, who instead uh, were really strongly pulled to at the same price uh, buying the snack food, the unhealthy snack food, uh, a powerful indication that there's at least a relationship then between food choices and not getting a good night's sleep. At the same time, as I mentioned, they looked at the amygdala and they found that the, uh, those who were sleep deprived had a demonstrable increase uh, activity of the brain's impulsivity center, the amygdala, as opposed to the parts of the brain that allow you to make better decisions. We call that one area, the prefrontal cortex. We call being disconnected from that prefrontal cortex, disconnection syndrome, where we lock into the amygdala. And as we see here, not getting a good night's sleep disconnects us from the prefrontal cortex and causes us to use the amygdala to make our decisions and therefore they are more impulsive. Another thing that was studied, which I think is really interesting, is the level of ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hormone that is uh, involved in uh, making us uh, hungry. Higher levels of ghrelin are associated with increased hunger. And as you see here, increased ghrelin levels in uh, those individuals who are sleep deprived. So they're hungrier when they, uh, in the morning. And not only that, but the quality of choices that they make referencing their foods uh, may not necessarily be appropriate. Compared with a night of getting sleep, a full night of sleep depth selectively increases the way people value snack food rewards compared with the non-food rewards, whatever they use, whether it was a hat or not, who knows. This result parallel the increased activity of the amygdala. So again, not getting a uh, restorative night sleep makes you choose the crappy food more of it probably because your ghrelin levels are higher and it is associated with increased activity of the amygdala and tends to disconnect you from what we're trying to connect to the prefrontal cortex and it sets up a 
what we call a feed forward cycle, whereby having a poor night's sleep leads to poor food choices, which would then lead to being overweight and, and or obese or obese, which then leads to poor sleep. You know, the more weight you carry around, the poorer is your quality of sleep, and this creates a feed forward cycle. So what did we learn? Once again, we learned that not getting enough sleep threatens our ability to connect to the prefrontal cortex, locks us in more to the amygdala part of the brain. That's the part of the brain uh, that is involved with things like making impulsive decisions. And in addition, how not getting enough restorative sleep can actually increase our appetites because as these researchers demonstrated, uh, not enough good sleep is associated with increased amounts of ghrelin uh, which is basically the hunger hormone. So the message is in terms of reconnecting, making good choices, pay real good attention to uh, the amount of restorative sleep that you get. We talk about that quite extensively in the new book, uh, Brainwash. And it's just, you know, one of the leverage points along with diet, along with exercise, building relationships, and even spending time in nature. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Bye for now.